Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video we will going to explore two very interesting chart for the data exploration perspective which are which is joint plot and pair plot. So let's look at uh, these plots and some of its property and see how it can be really useful for the data analysis. Alright, so let me execute these libraries which I have been using and the sales data so sales dot had just to show you first two observations and uh, as you can see if you are following this this is repetitive so you may skip this part but those who are new this is the different variables that we have we have some continuous variable like the product base margin we have some variables like profit unit price sales discount and the categorical variables like the order priority and ship mode so let's see how we can create a pair plot or and the joint plots using the uh, using these values so let's first explore the joint plot all right so what we need is basically the sales and profit let's say which is easy to understand and data equals to sales if i execute this you will see a scatter plot like this but the joint plot has an interesting feature which basically helps us visualize the distribution of the data so over here we have the sales data distribution and over here we have the profit data distribution so along with the scatter chart if you are if you are interested into going into more in depth of data about the distribution that it follows you can follow the joint the joint plot so sales and profit but uh, if you are interested in any other variable for example sales and its related discount a very important uh, you know information which usually people want to know about how you want say how the sales and discount is going so this is basically the sales and discount chart the first is the scatter chart however the distribution is not so great over here but uh, it shows where most of the distribution is and uh, then on the discount side it shows up there the sales distribution which was present in case of the this chart as well so you may have sales discount or uh, maybe something like uh, sales and uh, maybe product base margin i hope i am right writing it correct yeah so the value is correct so with this you can see the distribution of the product based margin the first of all the scatter then the product based margin uh, distribution and the sales distribution so this plot is about as as i said earlier it's about um, looking at the data uh, in, in a form of scatter chart and then you have the distribution of the data as well all right let's move on on this chart joint plot if i just copy this and if i show you one other very interesting property control v um well the very interesting property which is hex equals to true if i just execute that all right pros and error i guess there is some mistake i'm doing with the hex and let's see path collection object no property hex okay so i think if this is not the case we have this kind equals to hex all right i guess that's the one issue all right i think that's good so over here now you see this is more of a hexabin and the concentration of the value shows or the the uh the dark colors over here shows the concentration of the values so it looks like the values are over here uh, from the product base margin and uh, sales side and over here as well and another interesting uh, chart from this what we can make is if i just paste it here um it's related to the discount and if i execute this it shows pretty interesting things like this so so over here one can very clearly visualize about uh, the the concentration of the values when the cross section of the product base margin discount happens and over here in this range which is between 0.6 and 0.5 
but overall this chart gives a beautiful visualization and uh, gives us uh, on and gives us the ability to better explain about what's really going on where most of the concentration is and uh, very helpful in the um, in the analysis of uh, fraud or in the analysis of healthcare where people want to see where the values are where the things are going wrong they want to visualize this and they can clearly see about uh, where the issue is or the uh, problem lies apart from the kind which is uh, hacks you can also have a kind which is kde so this also produce a similar sort of visualization and as you can see it takes time because it's it's a very advanced and uh, uh, has to do a lot of processing so over here as you see the chart is changing chart is changing over here but in this visualization the things are becoming more and more clear along with the pattern of the data and that's why it's, it shows us much better picture if we compare to this one and uh, gives us more insight about the data so this again as you see is more around the concentration of the data and their respective layers how the uh, you know data is moving and down there over here uh, up over there you don't have any any high concentration and then again concentration starting so think like uh, if you have any disease and you have a huge data and you want to plot it this this really gives us the great visualization uh, from the perspective of just by looking at the data in this form you can you can clearly detect what is going on with the data and where you really need to uh, focus your attention all right after this what we may want to look or what i want to show you is uh, the pair plot so far we were looking at the joint plot but uh, now let's look at the pair plot so sns dot pair plot and first of all i will simply pass the entire data set because what it does is it picks up all the uh, numerical values and uh, give you a good correlation chart so let's execute this and you will find it pretty interesting once the chart is visible but uh, as you can see it 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 is taking time and it takes time when it produces it because it is looking at all the columns and identifying which column is numeric and then producing a very huge chart which you will see in just few seconds that uh, it it basically you know do a correlation or do a matchmaking with uh, each every variable which is numeric in nature and then produces uh, the sort of a scatter chart uh, along with uh, i believe histogram and uh, the kde plot so so if you have more uh, huge data and as you can see even we don't have the chart right now you may want to really seriously uh, reduce the data by having just uh, you know uh, limited amount of data along with the limited amount of variables all right so now the information is down it is, is here and uh, it has picked up everything like row id order id order quantity sales discount profit unit price shopping cost product based margin so wherever it picked up the uh, or saw the numerical value it has picked up that particular one and created this entire chart which is uh, over here as you can see a cross section with the profit and row id so it doesn't make a lot of sense and as i said row id or order id if it does not make sense in your case or, or the real data set that you are using then remove that because the more column you will add the more rows you will add it will going to take a lot of time so over here if you see product based margin and the profit uh, a different sort of a chart altogether same as uh, product based margin and unit price and then the respective distribution of the data so what is a product based margin distribution what is a shipping cost distribution what is a unit price distribution profit distribution discount distribution now i can see it from here sales distribution order quantity order id and finally row id which does not make any sense as it has no relevance so that's the thing which you can produce with the help of the uh, this this 
beautiful pair plot commands. And I really liked it because this, this really helped me see entire data in a perspective on all the columns that, that I want to see. Now, what I want to show you is an impact of a categorical variable on this. So the property which we have been using is hue. And let's say we want to take an effect of shipping mode, SHIP, ship mode. I guess that's the column, if I'm not wrong. Then now it will take a little bit more time, right? Because first it has to do the entire processing, which I just said in in this previous command but on top of that now it has to imply the fact of the shipping mode and now we will get a very beautiful visualization which is having a color uh, based on the impact of the shipping mode so i'm pausing here because uh, it may take like 30 seconds or so so no point in 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 you know keep on keeping keep going with that all right so we have the chart now and as you can see, it is a very beautiful and uh, a chart which uh, gives you a lot of insights about the shipping mode, which is a regular air delivery truck and express air. From this chart, one can very clearly identify in many cases, you have the express air, uh, which is dominating. Sometimes delivery truck is dominating and uh, very few times you have regular air, which is just dominating. So you can take an impact of any variable that you want. Um, and this is also pretty nice about uh, on product based margin, what is the impact of shipping mode? And uh, it shows the KDE plot over here. So you can experiment with the hue, which is shipping mode. And there are a couple of other variables, I believe, like hue order, uh, which what order you want, and then some information about the variables. You can change uh, the scatter chart from other chart by looking at documentation, and then a lot of other parameters that you can control. But uh, you know this this is like the minimum parameters one can give and get the output, which is uh, which is pretty interesting to see. So, all right, so that's about it. Uh, the joint plot and the pair plot, which I wanted to show you. And uh, I'll meet you then now in a new video with a new topic. But let me know how did you find it. And that will help me plan the future videos in a better way.